Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah. Today I'm going to be doing a ready, set, eye video for you. And if you like this look, to, uh, keep watching and let's get started. Ready, set, eyes. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and show this girl some love. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And ring that bell for upcoming notifications of any videos I will upload. Let's get started. Alright guys, let's get started. I'm going to start by priming my lids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti-Crease. I'm going to put that on. Just gonna put it between my fingers and I'm gonna press that on my lid. Alright, so let's get into this. I'm going to use my SK brush. I'm going to start with brush number 220. And I'm going to use an ABH color called Twig. And I'm going to use that and go right in my crease. By the way, I am loving these brushes. They are super fast for your colors to blend. Personally, for me, I seem like it's cutting down my blending time. Okay, and I'll do the other eye. And this, I'm using... Um, Some just light strokes, kind of like a windshield wiper, because I want to get that color all over my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. And once I feel like I've built that enough, blended that enough, I'm going to go in with the color Slate by ABH and I'm going to use a little slightly uh, tapered brush um, by um, SK and it's number 230. I'm going to pick up that Slate color and I'm going to go right into my crease. And I'm going to focus that more into my crease and I'm going to blend it right there. Remember it, blend, blend, blend. So I'm going to do the other lid. I'm going to pick up that slate again and go right in my crease. And just blend. Now remember, this is going to be an easy, everyday eyeshadow look that anyone can accomplish. And once again, I use those windshield wiper motion, really light strokes remember if you hold your brush up here you're going to get densely packed pigment as well uh, as where if you'd hold your brush at the end you're going to you get those light strokes and your color will be so much easier to blend it won't just stay in one spot now it's good if you want to keep that color 
in one spot, you would want to hold your brush closer to get that kind of pigment and push it up. But I want to use this as my crease shade and I want it to be very blended on top of my other shade. And I will show you the, what those shades look like. So Twig is a nice chocolatey brown color. And then Slate is going to be my gray color. Oops. So this is Twig. This is Slate. All right, so now I'm going to use another ABH color, and I am going to spray my brush before I apply this color just to have that really nice deep color of the shade. I'm going to use... It's called Georgina. See, it's like a chocolatey mocha, mocha, rich, just pretty, shiny color. So this is that one. And I'm going to use that just right here on my eyelid. So I'm going to pick that color up with a damp brush. And this is going to be the K... Um, SK brush in number 264. It's kind of like a flat brush. And I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go right there on that. Just right in that area. Now you kind of want to go a little bit high up because when you're doing your eyeshadow, you're looking down and you say, oh, it's pretty right there. But when you are talking to someone or looking at someone, they're not going to be able to see those beautiful colors that you're applying. So you do want to go up a little bit into your crease. Try to go a little higher and maybe look in the mirror to see if you're actually seeing those colors. Now, I do my eyeshadow and my I love makeup for my own self, not for anyone else. But it is nice so other, other people could see your work and see how pretty it is. So, that's that color. I'm just going to put it right there. And I'm going to go in with the other side. And that's that same color, Georgina. I just want to pack it. I'm not blending right now. I'm just packing that color into that corner. And again, I'm going to take it up a little bit. Because I could close my eye and you can see how beautiful it is. But when I open it, you can't really see that shade if I'm not going up enough. That is really beautiful. So now we want to get everything really smooth. I'm going to do a little trick to make my eye um, a little brighter on the bottom. I'm going to go and I'm going to use an ABH color um, called Fresh. And I'm almost hitting pan with that color. So you can't really see it. It's really light, like a light not white but off-white color and you could use that with any shade i'm just going to take that shade and i'm going to pop it a little bit on the bottom and i'm going to put a little bit in the in my um my arch then what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to take my bh cosmetics number six brush it's a small little fluffy brush and i'm going to go ahead back in with that twig color just a little bit so i want you to use light strokes because i'm just going to use that color to kind of transition all these shades together and just buff it out you know so we want to go down we want to want these colors to meet So 
go back in that twig color. Not too much, so hold your brush right at the end. And I just want to make sure all these shades are blended out. And you're going to go over that little bitty spot where these two meet. And make sure that they like each other. They're getting married. That is really gorgeous. And it took me no time at all. And another thing that I want to show you, I'm going to show you because I know people are scared to use colors. So one thing that is an easy try and first try of using a color, bright color shade. I'm going to get into that, but let's finish this look. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics number seven. This is kind of like a short, stiff little brush and I'm going to use that and I'm going to pick that same twig color up and I'm going to dust it all on the bottom of my bottom lashes. Now I'm not going to go all the way in but I'm going to go maybe halfway right here and I'm going to dust it all the way up and do that again with the other side. Make sure you're flicking that extra off of your brush. You don't want to go in with all that pigment. And we're just going to dust that lightly on the bottom. Remember, just stop right there where your iris is. Isn't that beautiful already? So you could just leave it like that, put some mascara on. Hey, let's call it a day. But, you know, we got to be a little extra. So then I'm going to get into, I'm going to do my little wing because, you know, I love wings. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I haven't used this one in a minute, so... Hopefully it's still good. It has a really nice line. A really nice fine line and that's what I want. So when you put your eyeliner on, you're just going to go, you're going to flick it. You're going to do the same with the other one. So you use your natural shape of your eye and you go up to use that flick. You're not going to go all the way to the tip. You're going to go a little bit below that part and you're going to bring it back in. And I'm not... Um, bringing it all the way in today. So I have a little spot right here that I went up too high. It's okay, so we could always flick it away after it dries. Don't panic. I know sometimes I mess up and I'm like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. No, it's not. It's not the end of the world. You can make it work. But this is really pretty so far. So then I'm going to do the bottom waterline and I am going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 all oh, Glide on pencil in perversion. Is that no surprise? So I'm going to do all my waterline and I'm going to go up maybe halfway. Now I'm doing a really easy look. So I want you to try this look and send me some pictures. 
And then I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics number 13. I love this brush just to go in and kind of smudge out the bottom waterline. I don't like it too smudged out. It just gives it enough where it evens out that color. All right, so now we're going to get into that pop of color that I want you to try. So get you a little, get you an angled brush like this one. This is the BH Cosmetics number 14. I want you to take that brush and find a really bright color that you never really uh, tried before and you really wanted to. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay color. It's called Slow Burn. It's a red color since I love red. And um, St. Joseph Day is coming up. So I am going to be having a little, some looks that's got the um, Italian. I'm going to do some eyeshadows that's green, red, and white. I need to figure it out what I'm doing. And St. Patrick's Day is coming. So I will show you a video of my eyes when I did that and what I picked up to do, um, to really glam it out. But anyway, let's get back to this. Um, we're going to use the, it's called Slow Burn, and it's red. So, it have, for anyone that hasn't used a bright color and always wanted to, this is something that you can do to really start using bright colors. All you want to do, and this is really, um, and it really looks good. I love it. I love doing this. So we're going to use that angled brush and I'm going to go right in, right where the inner part of my eye is. And I'm going to pop that color. And that's it, guys. I always use bright colors, but this is for someone that never does, that's maybe scared to use bright colors. This is a way of getting away with using it. And it really looks pretty. So I'm going to go right into that. And I'm going to pop that right in there. Y'all, I think this is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous um, way to have a little pop of color with your eyeshadow. Look at that. It's really simple. I really want to see y'all looks. Send me some pictures. I love it. So now I'm going to set my eyes with my Holy Grail Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So that's probably why you see my little clips kind of going into the next one because I'm talking too much. Nobody wants to see me talk too much. And then I'm going to get my Dewy Mist uh, by ABH. I know y'all probably say she always uses that spray. <laughs> I just love them. They work. So, look, I use this so much. I'm all the way up to here already. It just makes everything work together and sit together and just melt into your skin. So good. So good. So now I'm going to put on some mascara because if you know me, I do not use false lashes all the time. I might put them on just to show you, but as for every day, I do not wear them. So I love me a good mascara. I'm going to use my Bad Gal Bang by Benefit, which I am drying out. So I need to go get some more of this stuff. 
So I'm going to use that first. This is the fan out my lashes because I, I love this wand. I think it does a great job of pr pretty much fanning out your lashes. And I'm going to use that one to do my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a really good mascara. It's got a chunky wand, but the formula is really good for uh, bulking up your lashes. Look how thick that makes them. That's a really good mascara. Well, y'all, hope y'all like this look. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little highlighter in my uh, inner corner. And I'm going to use what color? I'm going to use Pearl by ABH. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to use that just for a brightener right there. It's a really pretty color. I always use this. This is one of my shades that I go to for my inner corner. And then you can use a little bit right here. A little bit right here. And y'all, I think it's time for some lipstick. So, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Color Rich um, Always Red Eyeliner. It's like that. So, you can see the color. And I'll line my lips. Lining your lips is really good because it defines them, your natural shape. And it helps your, it helps when your lipstick um, wears off through the day. It helps it keep that little color. You don't lose that color. So today I'm going to be using um, Love That Red by Revlon. I love this red color. It's so moisturizing. It's their super lustrous lipstick. This is the shade. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. If you love reds, you would love this color. So I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number 12, and this is just a lipstick brush, but you could use any kind of flat long brush, just to make sure that my lipstick is smooth. There's no harsh lines. Okay. 
then I'm going to set it off with this Kiko Milano number uh, 5 3D Hydra Lip Gloss. And I'm just going to use that right in the cup, uh, the middle. I don't want to use the wand, so I'm going to put it on my hand and just put it with my finger. And that's it. I forgot to set my brows. How could you let me forget? All right, so this is my ABH Clear Brow Gel. I know you know I love it. And I'm going to set those brows. Well, I am really loving this look. And it was so easy and... It was so fun to do this pop of color on my lips, a pop of color in my eye. You could even go in and be a little extra and add a little bit more to really brighten that up. I know. I got to be extra. I love it though. Well, guys, this is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try out and show me some pictures. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video, and ring that bell for upcoming notifications of any videos I might upload. And until next time, stay blessed, guys.